All right, we're doing some more decimal operations problems. These are word problems now. So now we have a, this stepped up for the GED. This is also good for anybody who's just in need of decimal operations help. So let's get started with the problems. So we have James who ran three miles. His times for the individual miles were 7.2, 6.8, and 8.25 minutes. How long did it take him in minutes to run the three mile distance? So again, these are not calculator based questions, which means you cannot use a calculator for any of these problems. So we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna write down the numbers that we had in each of those amounts in order to solve this. So we're gonna start off with the first one, which was 7.2. We are doing an addition problem because we're adding all the times together. So we have 6.8 and then our last one is 8.25. Now, notice that I lined everything up with the ones position, the decimals, and then the tenths positions. Now, there is a hundredth position right here, so I'm going to throw in some zeros as placeholders for these problems, and now I'm gonna go ahead and solve. Zero, zero, and five is five. Eight and two is 10, plus two is 12. So we're gonna put a two down here. We're gonna carry that one up on top here. Decimal's gonna line up right here. One plus seven is eight plus six is 14, plus eight is 22. So the correct amount of number of um, minutes it took him was 22 minutes and 25 seconds. And if I look at my choices, as you can see, that would be choice A right there. Next question below is that Claudia is earning overtime when she works over 40 hours a week, which sounds pretty typical. And so we're looking to find out how many hours in overtime did she work for March, the week of March 4th. So again, what we're gonna do is take all those amounts, we're gonna add them together. Anything that says off obviously was zero. So I'm not gonna even put those in there. So I'm just gonna add all these numbers together right here. So starting off with 8.5, we're gonna add that to, the next one was off. So then we had 9.25. Our next day was 8.75. And again, you wanna keep these neat and as much as possible. This is 10, so notice that I moved this over. So this is, I'm, this is the only one I have as a tens position. And then my last one, or the next day was off. And then our last one was 7.75. So again, I have everything lined up. We're adding all these together. Um, anything that you see that's not got anything in it, we're gonna actually throw a zero in so that we keep those placeholders consistent and then we're gonna to add together. And it's not, that's only one part of this, by the way. We have one more part after that. So we're gonna go five and five is 10, plus another five is 15. So 15, we're gonna carry the one right here. One and five is six, seven, eight. And then this is gonna be 15, plus seven is gonna be 22. So we're gonna carry that over to the next line. A decimal got put in there. Eight and one is nine plus another nine is 18. And then we're gonna have 18 plus eight, and then that's gonna give us 26 plus another seven, and it's gonna be 33. So we're gonna carry that three over here. And then there's nothing in any of these spots. I didn't fill them in, I should have. I filled them all in with zeros here. So we're gonna have three plus one, which is four. Now that's how many hours she worked total. That's not what the question's asking me. It's asking me about how many hours more overtime that she made. So if she makes 40 hours, that is our total amount, but we also have overtime hours. So we need to take this and we're gonna actually subtract this from 40, or sorry, subtract 40 hours from this in order to figure out how much overtime she actually ended up with. And this is gonna be five minus zero is five, two minus zero is two, Decimal is gonna go right here. Three minus zero is three. Four minus four is zero. So that means that she worked a total of three hours and uh, 0.3.25 hours overtime. And that's not enough.